really appreciate the level of work that you're putting in. It's a lot of work. And, and all of the marketing strategies that you have outlined. But we just want to hear from you. Will there be a, a, a league this year? And how confident are you that we will run a successful um, Jamaica Premier League? Uh, we're confident that there will be a league this year. Um, will there be a league, um, you know? Soon. Soon, I do, I, 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 I don't, I don't. And, and, and sorry, Chris, and by this year, you mean not the, the 2020, 2021 league or 2021, 2022 league? Right, uh, either, either. Okay, either. one way or the other, a league coming. The one way or the other, a league. In 2021, we will start a league. Um, and that's how we're approaching it. We're, we're not making a hard um, line in the sand decision. Right. On, 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 um, you know, on season A or season B, we as soon as we're able to restart football in whatever shape or form, we are, we, we are, we want to restart football. We think Sounds it's important. Simple. We think it's important for the national development uh, that that the the, the 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 guys get an opportunity to compete. Right. Uh, so so uh, so once. The, the health authorities um, feel it is safe for us to, 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 to execute uh, football. We will work, our, we will work uh, with JFF on a fixture and a structure that is, uh, uh, that, is football going. That, that is able to get football going. So, okay. so yes, we are, we're confident in that. And as I said, um, <clears throat> we, we, we are... Um, uh, using this crisis as an opportunity to ensure that when we do get football going, um, the players are able to benefit from football. You right. know? Because, because um, you know, the, 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 it hasn't been a rewarding experience for a number of the players, and it's been a huge sacrifice. Mm -hmm. and, and we need to reduce that in order to ensure that they can put, put in the effort and the focus to improving themselves so that we can get a better a better game. So, okay. so it is it is critical on us to to not think of and you know I, I keep going back to that, but it to you you just want to see the, the, the game on the on the field. Me, no, that we, is, want, we want both. We want yeah, both. Right. So me, yes. you know, I, I am more nervous about. The game because by that time, by the time the whistle blow and the referee say play ball, you know, I want to make sure that, that revenue that is up, that 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 insurance is in place, yeah, that that medical team is there, that all of them get them hard checked before them run out on the field. The, the, you know, there there's so the entire many product um, is um properly set, football is played in a very safe environment and all of that. Exactly. So, so that checklist is, I mean, when I, when I wrap up here, I'm going on another call with going over the checklist um, to, you know, to just try and ensure that, that when we do um, get the go ahead, that we're de delivering a better product for, right, for all right. the stakeholders. So, so right. but, 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 but based on the conversation so far with the Ministry of Sport and the Ministry of Health, um, I do think that they're recognizing that that we are able to execute protocols that uh, that will not uh, widen the spread of the, the, the disease. That is the critical thing. We must not contribute to the to widening. The to, so, 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 so our protocols, um, and, and it is obviously being demonstrated globally right. that, right. that um, football is able to, to um, perform outside of our Outside of a bubble. Outside of a bubble, yep. Yes, football is able to 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 play. So so you know we we are working on convincing them of that. Sounds good. But, Sounds good. But how realistically is it to tick all those on the checklist and have a restart? And what's the timeline you are looking at in terms of getting everything on your checklist ready for a restart, if that is possible right now? Um, I think we we are. We are three weeks away from 
sorry, the, we, we have a three week runway. So if, if we got the, got the goal today, we could play ball, uh, sorry, play the league. We could obviously play ball um, yeah, in terms of right. you know, practice matches and, and so on. But in terms of um, playing the league, I would say a three week runway. That um, sounds, sounds, but there, sounds interesting. There, there are some, there are some um, activities that you cannot do until you get the go ahead. Correct, correct. So, 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 so even if you get the go ahead today, you can't start tomorrow because no. you know, you, you, there, there are certain things that require um, uh, time to get in place after the, 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 you get the go ahead. So, so I would say our runway is, uh, is three weeks. That's, that okay. sounds good, um, um, Chris. And just to push a little further, um, we heard recently some good news coming out of CONCACAF in terms of the CONCACAF Club Champions League, which obviously will open up significant doors in terms of revenues for um, clubs as well as like for transfers. Give us your thoughts on that. It's, a, it's, it's, it's fantastic. It's fantastic mm -hmm. um, because yeah. the, the Jamaica, while, while we are, are driving the revenues of the Jamaica Premier League, there's no way the clubs are going to be able to uh, sustain themselves and become financially viable exclusively on, the, on their share of profits from the Jamaica Premier League. They are going to have to also get revenue from, um, from transfers. Right. And they're going to also have to get revenue from, from participating in CONCACAF um, competitions. Right. So, so, so it, 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 it's important that the clubs have various revenue generating opportunities right. so that it can improve their financial viability. So I'm, I, was very happy to, I was very happy to get the news. And, uh, and CONCACOF is a big supporter of, of um, the JPL. And they have been so, given significant guidance. Will your body be assisting the players in are the clubs? In their preparations for those competitions, is yeah, that and, part and of your remit? To no, no, in any at all. No, we, we, I mean, we, we're, a, we're a commercial entity. We're not a, we're not an association. Um, and you notice there, I mean, there's no association in the name. We are, right. we are, we are, we, our focus is on growing JPL, Jamaica Premier League, that brand, that business. But we're not we, we're not we're not the the clubs association um so Fair enough. yeah so the, so the clubs will that will will work directly with um with um jff and concacaf on that. that that sounds pretty good um so therefore the clubs have to do the work in terms of valuing their players signing up with concacaf <laughs> but anything in relation to the jamaica premier league that's where you come in that's where we come in our, our focus is on is on growing the JPL. We want it to be, we want it to be, to be the most popular league in the world. That's what we but, want. But would you, would you be monitoring the, the clubs though to see if, if their plans are not in line with what you want to see? Will you step in and say, "Hey, this is a foolishness"? No, no. We, 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 that's not. That's the JFF. That's the JFF. I, I, I do not have any sanctioning authority. Um, I'm, I, I, I run a privately owned business. The business yes. is owned, owned by 12 clubs. It's not an association. It, you know, it's, it's not a regulatory body. It's, it's a business. And the, the focus of the business is, 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 is to grow it bigger than... So, so frankly, my focus is to make sure JPL is the biggest brand, bigger than Champs, bigger right. than Carnival, bigger right. than Sunfest. It's supposed to be when when people think about you know coming to Jamaica, they're supposed to say them want to come to Jamaica, go watch a JPL game. They want to go watch just like how when you say you 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 have a London, you want one of the things on your list is to go watch a, a Premier League game. Or mm -hmm. NBA. Or our NBA, you go to you know US, you want to go watch an NBA game. That's the level that we want to take the JPL at like, uh, you know so. so it's it's a you know people come to Jamaica to go watch a game. So to be clear, um, Chris, thank you. To be clear, how do how does the JPL make money? The JPL makes money from um, sponsorship, from broadcast rights, sale of broadcast rights, 
um, from selling airtime um, uh, on 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 the on the on its various platforms. A lot of marketing effort. from from merchandise share of profits on merchandise, and eventually from ticket sales. Um, those are our 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 platforms for revenue. Good. Sounds good. What about um, image rights? Are there any discussions um, going on now as it relates to your body? And well, the, how... Im the image rights are typically utilized either by a sponsor or it is for sale. If it is for sale, it's captured on the merchandise. If it is, is if it is a sponsor, let us say, you know, um, one of the food fast food companies want to put up a a Premier League um, um, meal deal or whatever, um, then they would come on and they'd have to sponsor us. Yeah. And then as as a as a benefit, they are able to do co-branding. So so that's how we we capture that. And we do have we do have a deal signed with um with Burger King. Um, and, and one of their 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 strategies is a is a co-branding deal, and these are the things that we have to be working through before we can start. We have to give Burger King time to be able to you know sort through their 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 strategy, um, mm -hmm. so that they can they can launch you know the the Jamaica Premier League um, you know deal whatever they you know what they come up with, and they, we want those co-branding because those co-branding things make the fans. Feel engaged to the yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Chris, I mean, and, and we're wrapping up, but just to put it here, so you're, you have spoken to us a lot about the the, the commercialization of the product, um, the governance structure of the product. Um, a very critical thing which people generally ask about are um, finances, whether you're getting public finances or private finances. Um, I know that you're a private entity, but will you be? publishing, for example, financial records or financial highlights or anything like that? Do you plan to, for example, list the um, PFJL on the Jamaica Stock Exchange or any entity like that? We now boss our secrets, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, call, I'm calling you, you out, Chris. You I'm calling you, you out, Chris. You, 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 you knew I would have gotten there. I'm calling you out. You want, you want too much you, know, you know I can pull these things out. <laughs> you know what? All I can say is, you know my background. My background is 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 finance and, and, yeah. and investing. So so you know we're going to utilize that as much as possible. We know we know the value of of the of the brand. We know that leagues around the world um, have been able to access capital right. in order to, in order to grow themselves. Right. So so. Um, so stay tuned. You know, it's going to be it's going to be exciting. Going to be exciting. We'd, we'd, lo we'd love to be here with you when you're breaking it. We're yes. excited about yeah. that. But, but Chris, as Adrian said, we're wrapping up. What are Jamaica chances of um, qualifying for the World Cup? Excellent, excellent. I mean, I know we 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 have a setback here with um with, with the pandemic and not being able to play ball, but um, just the quality that we have, you know, and the depth of the quality. You know it's excellent, and of course the fact that you know the, the number of, of spots right. um, have increased and, and so on. So so it's 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 excellent. I I um, I I would be very disappointed if we don't make it. Yeah. Uh, I looked at the 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 um the the competition, um, and I've been you know paying attention to you know to the to the middle tier because you know you have the you know. You top kind of three. carve out a top three, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. You have that middle tier, which you know is really <laughs> who win is really who win that middle tier, you know. Um, and actually get through. You can get through, and I think we have a shot at, at beating that middle tier. I don't want to call any any country names, but but I know some countries, and I've looked at their teams, and and I looked at that Saudi game. That Saudi game really impressed me. And um, I, you know the, the second game, and, so and, I, and I suspect that the the Jamaica Premier League if given that opportunity, will play a big role in terms of um, getting the local players ready um, for, for the Jamaica football Absolutely. Um, that, team. That is, that is the reason we have a start. That is the reason we have a start. Absolutely. You know, the, the, the local guys will play a critical role and they need much practice. They need Definitely. much practice. You, know, you, you can't get the level of fitness 
you know, through training. Yeah, and 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 it have to be through to to competitive games. So so um so you know for for that reason as well we you know we we I, I mean as I I mean we're not going to sacrifice safe you know so I, I do think it's safe um yeah you know if you if if we if we follow the protocols I do think it's Correct. safe um but we're not going to sacrifice safety but but I do think we need to start you know we need to start. okay. And so we're starting first, obviously, with the Bermuda game. And you think that we can do well. Obviously, the local players will play a big part on that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, you know, I expect a, a strong turnout on the Bermuda game. Um, you know, we really need to give these guys a pep talk yeah. and let them know that, I mean, the, 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 this is the reggae boys. You know, this is... This, this is the reggae this, boys. This, the, you know, the, the country, you know, um, its heartbeat is the reggae boys. And um, and so we and the country has gone through a rough, you know, year and a half. So Tough. so you know we really need them to 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 step up. It doesn't look like we're going we're going to have you know the kind of Olympic glory that <clears throat> that we normally have. Okay. So <laughs> so we really need um, something to lift us. us. Big yeah, man, the boys lift us, you know, and give us that vibe. So. Um, so I, you know, frankly, if them, if if if, if President Ricketts invite me to give him a pep talk, I, I'm going to give him a pep talk. Yeah, yeah fired up for that pep talk. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm fired up for that pep talk. I'm going to sit down in front of them and go cry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> give everything. Hey, hey Chris, um, um, find, give us give us your final thoughts. Um, and where can people find you? Your handles, um, your last words as we as we wrap up. Um, the last words is, um, listen, this pandemic has taught us that at the end of the day, uh, we, are, we, we are Jamaicans and it is Jamaica that you have to depend on. Right. Uh, you, 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 know, you, 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 you know, as much as we love the EPL and, and all of that, that not, that's not going to drive the kind of nationalistic support that 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 moves us, you know, moves us to tears. Right. It, it, it is the Jamaica Premier League. So I ask everybody to, you know, to give it their attention, and um, you know, give us a chance to to come into your households and 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 you know, give us a two hours out of out of your week, and um, you know, watch a game and comment and 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 you know, see see if it can give you some enjoyment. Um, Purchase jerseys. You know, and I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm not even pressuring that yet. I give it. I said, give us, give us <laughs> a yeah, chance. Strategy. Give yeah, us a strategy. chance to impress you. Give us a chance to impress okay. you. You know, and I, I'm, I'm fine with that. You know, um, once we impress you, and if you move and so on, then yes, then support us. But just give us a chance to impress you. You know, log on. You know, watch the the highlights. Um, you know, um, participate in the. We're bearing. interested in the highlights, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So. So that's what my final words is. Just give us your your time, you know, and your your eyeballs. That's all. That's all I really want at this time. Um, my my handle is Chris from Proven on um, all platforms. Great, great. Well, Christopher Williams, uh, the chairman of the Professional Football Jamaica Limited (PFJL). Thank you very much, sir, for your time, for coming to share with us. It was truly an exciting and a very interesting um, discussion that we had tonight. Jamaica College. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Thank you. Indeed. indeed. Um, fans, let us know what your thoughts are on our interview. Let us know if you enjoyed our discussion, our talk on commercialization. Let us know your thoughts on the restart of the Jamaica Premier League um, and how it's going. Um, we wish to continuously support local football. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Like, share, and subscribe. Be blessed. <laughs>